I was asked a question recently that I felt like a lot of artists were probably had it on their mind, which is how do you work with bigger producers and songwriters? So let me break this down today. A lot of people on the way up in their career are trying to constantly work with someone who is more established, which makes total sense because you're going to want to work with people who have more knowledge than you, have a higher quality than you can create, and also have a network that you don't have in place yet because those are the things that really drive a music career forward. If you look at how a career is broken down, it's me based on the quality of your songs, the quantity of your songs, the network who's helping you with sales and managing and promotion, and also the network that can walk you into bigger opportunities, sponsorships, record label deals, publishing deals, things like that. So working with an established producer or songwriter is very intelligent, but I also want to say as a disclaimer, before I get too deep into this, you don't need someone else in order to make your career. A lot of times people think that they have to get with someone bigger than them in order to create something. And that is true. It helps out massively. There's tons of people it's helped out for. But at the same time, if you're waiting for that person at all times, you can spend a lot of time just waiting. So I don't agree with the waiting method, the whole wishing, wanting, and waiting, the three W's that I think bring people into like a purgatory. What I believe is that it's good to collaborate with people who have more credits than you, have bigger networks than you, have more established than you, have been in the industry longer than you. But if you're only waiting on that to help your career move forward, you could be waiting for a long time. So here's what I recommend. Number one, there's a very easy way to connect with all these writers and producers. The first one is events. There's tons of events where people go and they speak and they tell you their secrets. They don't go too in depth, obviously. They're not giving away the whole entire, you know, list, ingredient list of how they write hit songs. But as far as connecting with them, asking questions and understanding their background, how they got to where they, they went, maybe they will share some advice that helps your career. Events are so easy to go to because anyone can go to them. If you went to two or three events a year, in-person events, because that's different from online, and you do that for three years, you'll normally meet about four executives, maybe, three artists, producers who are established at each event. So that's like seven people. So at the end of the year, that's 14 to 21 people that you've met who already kind of been in the business for a bit. Let's do the math. 14 times three equals what? 42? So that means you have 42 contacts that you never had prior. All these people have expertise and understanding and can probably help you when the song is right. It's so important that you have to wait till the song is right. A lot of artists just want things because they have the best song that they've created but it's not the best song that's in the industry. And you have to understand the difference because you might make something that to you is like awesome because it's the first time you've created a song that sounds like it should be on the radio, but you're also competing against hundreds if not thousands of artists who are already signed to major labels who their whole entire catalog sounds like it should be on the radio. So it's more about building relationships and building trust and building great songs. That's the whole game plan. So events are the easiest way to meet these people, connect with them, and if you have great songs, a lot of times you can collaborate with them. I know I have, and I know a lot of people I've, been, I've advised to do something like this have, have collaborated with them. You know, I'm talking about Grammy Award winners, hit songwriters, they all go to these things. So just look out for events. The second thing is, you can do it on the internet. I've showed many artists how to connect with executives, producers, songwriters, literally through just DMing. But here's the way to do it there is a strategy. If you just blind email people that you don't know and who don't know you, um, most likely they're not going to listen to you, but here's why. Everyone's writing them with some nonsense about how they want to move forward in their career. If you approach it from a different angle, meaning with something with value, and you put that in your email or in your message in the very first few lines, well, that could be something completely different. And let me show you the, the difference in example. If someone writes me and they're like, yo, my track is fire check this out i'm about to blow here's the link get at me i'm not answering that email i'm not opening that song up because even if the song is great i know the person is unprofessional in how they're approaching things and i don't want to be a part of that it's very simple for me now let me show you a different side of it just based on how you approach it hi adam my name is blah 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 um i've recently won the blah 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 award or i've recently gotten my song critiqued by a Grammy Award winner who said it had potential for a radio. I recently hit 10,000 fans on my, my platform. Give me something that makes a highlight, just a small highlight, but something that's honest and something that brings value and not just, I got this banger of a track, something that creates value. Now, once you created the highlight, then go into something that is about yourself. Um, I've attached this track below that I feel is really strong for radio potential. Love it if you had a second out of your day. I know you're busy just to give it a listen. And if you hear anything that you really like, feel free to contact me back. 
If not, no worries. I don't want to waste your time. I know you're a busy person. If you approach something like that, that is completely different from, yo, check me out. I'm the shit. Uh, you should do something for me versus, hi, I've done X, Y, and Z. Here's showcasing my talent. And I wouldn't waste your time unless it was at the level that I felt like you deserve to spend your time. Two completely different ways of approaching something. Now, I will tell you this. If you have an interesting tone, and I'm talking about a tone that when you hear it, you're like, who is that? If you can write hit songs, if you have at least five songs in your catalog that sound like they should be on the radio, you right now could literally email and DM every single producer and writer that inspires you. Just go to Wikipedia, find everyone's names who write songs and produce songs that you like, and send it to them and say, hey, I'm looking to collaborate with other people. Now, if you do that, let's say you, you emailed 100 people, I'm going to let you know people are going to write you back but they're all gonna have different things that they're writing you back for. So let's go through this. One, they might wanna sign you because they might have an upcoming company that they're creating. A lot of producers and a lot of songwriters are creating their own internal companies that are subdivisions from record labels and publishing deals. So they might wanna sign you. They might wanna work more with you. Some might say they're going to charge you because they know you need their help. They know in order for you to get a hit that the songs you sent are not hits yet. And so they're gonna say, well, I wanna work with you, but you have to pay me for my time. That's just part of the game. It's nothing bad. They're basically trying to help you build a mansion from a song. You have to pay a price for that. So whenever artists are like, yeah, well, they try to charge me $10,000. And I go, yeah, because you, you want them to make you a number one hit song. A number one hit song is going to make millions. So yeah, you might have to invest $10,000 to make a million. That's how business works. It's nothing out of the ordinary. But most artists don't think of things like that. It is good to invest your money when it's right, because if you could make the money back, if you get to that point where looking at this business as a business, you'll see that this is kind of normal things. Now, the third thing they can be doing, and I'm just being honest, is if you're approaching and on your page, you have a lot of thirst trap type pictures, well, that person could be writing you back because they want to hook up because your Instagram page or your social media, it's your store. You're telling everyone what you're selling. So if it looks like you're selling more sex than you are music, and you're sending your music out to someone and they want more sex than music, they might be looking at it like that because that's what you're approaching with. It's all gonna be a based on your approach and based on what the intentions are from both you and the other person. And then lastly, someone might write you back because they have a friend who's an executive or a friend who's a manager or a friend who has a label and they're helping their friend facilitate new artists. That happens all the time. So the reason why I say, if you're really talented, great tone, great music, great lyric and melody. It sounds good. I'm meaning like the production and mixes sound good. You should not be sitting at home and hoping for something to come. Those three W's, wishing, waiting, and wanting. Don't do that. Start to email, start to message people. Trust me, if you can send out 100, you'll get back 10, 15 people responses. And that's all you need to start a career. And then from that, you can start to pick and choose based on who you like working with. So anyway, for anyone out there, when I got this message and someone said, hey, Adam, how do I work with more established writers and producers? First thing, events. Second thing, DMing personally. Make sure your catalog is great. Make sure you have at least five songs that all sound great, not just one track. Make sure your tone, the mix quality, your pitch, everything is on. If you write a professional email with the way I just told you, showing some highlights, showing a win-win of how you both can work together, understanding the person is busy and that you are appreciative of their time. I guarantee for anyone who follows this, it will work. I've already helped people do this like 20, 30 times. So if you try this strategy and it works for you, do me a favor, leave me in the comments, let me know what happened, and I hope you have a great day. I'll talk to you soon.